What's going guys, Zendis here and today in this video I'm here to do the first impressions on Grand Alliance Early Access version. This beta version is out there in the Google Play Store for you guys to download and have entertainment with this game which is provided to you guys by Crunchyroll. Let's see like what this game has to offer to us. Anyways, let's get into the battlefield right away and let's see how we are going to battle against the opponents in this game. So right over here guys, you can see that we can take a total of three heroes in the battle and you can even select who is going to be the leader in the team and you can see there is the combat power being shown or indicated at the bottom of the icon and you can even manage your hero units out there by equipping them with various sorts of weapon gloves boots accessories and whatever not okay and guess what guys you can even improve their experience by feeding them the experience tickets you can tear them up or let's say you know like upgrade their star grade and you can even unlock their potential to provide them extra stats and improve their performance in the battlefield and you can even enhance them as well so there we go guys i am right now lacking a lot of materials out there but anyways if certain character is your wife you definitely you would want to see them in the different skins as well so it's really up to you anyways that's for the later discussion but first of all guys i would really love to say to you guys this one particular thing that is so unique to this game is that you can equip and unequip the skills just look into that man Wow, look at that. Skills are something like equipments in this game. Think about it, man. You can equip and unequip the skills. What the hell? All right, let's get into the battle right over here. <laughs> <laughs> you can equip the equipments, you can equip the skills and make your characters very very unique. Even if you have the same hero, you can actually possess different kind of skills which you can take in the battle and even the skills have their tier grades, okay? Higher the tier of the skills, uh, the more the powerful your skills are going to be and more effective your heroes are going to perform in the battlefield, okay? And uh, make sure that you try to interact with all the possible uh, you know like uh, this what do you call this thing in this game not as like this kind of boxes Okay, right over there in order to get a lot of rewards and you can actually auto move and auto skill as well uh, If you really don't want to Manual the game you can pretty much auto it right over there and guess what guys Even if you are not going to auto skill and auto move your characters are going to do the basic attack and you have to command them in order to cost the skills, okay? right over there guys okay let's do the auto move auto skill right over there and let's get into the next battle right over there okay mm -hmm, mm -hmm. all right all right so just like that guys they are not triggering any kind of skill and i will be the one to give them the command so that they would cost the skill in the game okay right over here guys so that's how it is and whenever you are clicking the skill the speed of the animation is slowed down so that you have the ample time to cast your skill at the proper location okay because once you click a certain skill a certain area will pop out within which you will be able to cast your skill okay so there we go that's it and let's keep on moving forward okay so right over here guys let's do it and you can see that on the right hand side of the screen that you can also take various sorts of materials in order to keep on uh, sustaining your heroes during the battlefield by improving their health healing them or provide them certain type of buffs so that they can actually keep on dealing more damage to the opponents and have a easy victory just like that okay so that is pretty much it those are the things that this game is actually going to provide to you guys uh, this game also have that overdrive gauge which you can use as the ultimate skill of a character against the opponents so that you can wrap up the battle really really fast anyways in this game the gacha components are of two types one is going to be the hero that you need to gacha and the next is going to be the skills just think about it skills man you need to gacha the skills in this game so let's look into the uh, gacha section let's try to summon the heroes or the skills in this game and let's see what are the rates okay so right over here guys we have to go into the shop section this is the place where we are going to do the multi servants right away guys premium gacha it says all right, this is the place where we are supposed to gacha the heroes or the skills. Look into the drop rates right over here, guys. A random hero will be dropping at 3% chance. All right, so look into that one. There's only a 3% chance for you guys to get a hero in this gacha system. And there is a 3% chance to get the tier 5 ability skills. Man, this tier 5 uh, abilities are the one that is going to make your heroes really, really deadly, okay? Just having heroes is not enough. You need to have the ability to equip on them as well, okay? That is like, what, man? Uh, just from the very start, this game is really 
sounding very very vain <laughs> that's what i say that's what i think just think about it man too much too much man and for the tier 4 ability there is a 15% chance for it to drop tier 3 ability that is 43% chance and finally the tier 2 ability that is 36% chance okay so that is it anyways let's do the draw or gacha meaning like when you are going to start a new account in this early access version of the Grand Alliance, uh, you will be having at least 1000 uh, gems and with that 1000 gems definitely you can do the 10 times draw. So let's do it guys, let's summon in this game. So there we go guys, first is definitely going to be a skill, okay, tier 3 it seems. Is that a tier 3? Yes. <laughs> okay, uh, next is gonna be a tier 3 skill as well, so there we go. There we go. It seems like a certain class of hero units can actually equip those skills. Okay, there we go. Uh, fires a projectile in the line that explodes on first impact, dealing 200% dark damage to the opponents. Okay, that is it, guys. Wow, that's the tier 4 skill. All right, all right. That's cool, that's cool. I like that, I like that. And what is it going to be? That's going to be the tier 3 skill, okay? Okay, whatever that is, let's take it. Uh, I think I might not be actually able to get a single hero unit in this catcher. <laughs> What the hell, man? Okay, tier 4 skill right over there, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, can I actually get a tier 5 skill? No, it seems. Man, there we go, guys. Oh, fiery. Oh, I did I just get a new hero unit? Yes, it seems, guys. It seems so. I got a fiery. Okay, so there we go, guys. I'm pretty happy with that one. There's a 3% chance that actually did trigger while I was doing this one, guys. Okay, so fiery is now mine. Okay, so let's go back. And right over here, guys, there's a resource gacha as well where you can watch some video in order to get some summons right over there where you can get like experience materials and many other things, guys. Okay, you can even get the skills from here as well, even tier 5 abilities with the 1% chance. I think it's pretty cool, it's pretty cool. So let's get back into the battle, let's do our thing, guys. Let's go into the squad and let's try to change our squad okay so uh, unequip let's try to unequip our leader and in our leader position i think it will be good that if i put the new hero unit that's a three star grade uh, that's gonna be yuri okay spidey Spidey. sorry sorry her name is spidey okay so there we go uh can i add some experience do i have some experience tickets no i really don't have them so i can just provide some really good armor to her let's like like let's say like like let's say equip equip it to her okay there we go uh, are there any other skins that is available to her? No, not really. Uh, tear up, meaning like for extra stars, I really don't have uh, essential materials. Uh, if I can actually add, unlock the potential, it seems no, because like I need to get her to a certain level before I can unlock the potentials. And enhancement, guys, okay, I like the materials, okay? So there we go, guys, and you can see that like there are certain uh, skills that are innate to her, and you can upgrade the skills provided that you have the certain materials it's over right over here. So if you keep on improving her skills, definitely she's going to perform much better in the battlefield. And right now, let's try to equip her some additional skills. That's definitely going to help her out, okay? So what is it going to be? All right, the first skill, let's try to equip this one to her. All right, there we go, there we go. And I think I can actually equip this skill to her right over there. Okay, that's pretty much it. All right, now let's get into the battle once again and let's see how they are actually going to perform, okay? Let's go into the campaign. And this time actually I'm going to show you one thing that you can actually select the chapters as well. And you can actually fight in the easier battles if you want. <laughs> Okay, so let's start the battle with the new hero unit that I just got. Let's see how good she is in the battlefield. Okay, come on, load it up really fast. Come on, we can do it. Okay, there we go. Let's skip this one. I'm not really interested into that one. Seems like we will not be able to do any kind of battle in here. Oh, I think we can, we can, we can, we can. Sorry about that. Okay, sister. And there's a certain animation right over here where the character is going to pop like that. Ooh, the waifu is popping, man. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. So there we go, guys. Okay, let's try to fight against a certain type of like elite. Okay, so there we go. That elite is right over there. Okay, he's going to challenge us in the fight, I guess. And we are going to defeat his ass. Okay, so that we can actually get some really cool rewards. Anyways, look into that one, guys. He's actually trying to test our limits trying to test our skills and our abilities in order to defeat him and he's like a boss unit so right over there guys just like in the Honkai impact he's already showing like where he's actually going to land his uh, skills okay so that you can actually 
you know, like get away from those kind of areas to avoid any kind of damage or status effect like stun and many other things okay so that is pretty much it guys so very simple game indeed i would not say that this is a very heavy and complicated type of game uh very easy to follow up and i think the story really makes a lot of sense if you guys are story lovers then this game might actually provide you an ample ground to enjoy the story while you are while, while you do play the action rpg type of game style and anyways let's try to collect up some really good rewards that we just unlocked and there's a daily mission weekly mission that you need to fulfill in order to get some amazing amazing rewards that are embedded into it and there's a lifetime rewards as well from where you will be able to get a lot and lots of amazing amazing materials that is definitely going to help you guys in upgrading your hero units or to summon new heroes or skills okay and you can go into the scouting as well the scouting is the feature just like expedition or some kind of you know like tour travel around and they will come back and they will uh, kind of give you certain type of rewards and blah 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 and so many other things like that so it's pretty much like that the diplomat process okay uh <laughs> That's it guys and definitely the grand is a uh, grand arena is going to be unlocked at the chapter 2 battle number 7 uh, That's for later for me to Enjoy and that is pretty much it guys You can actually check out the beginners bundles as well if you really want to uh, Purchase like certain packs right out there and there's an event ongoing as well that you will be able to get the free Amelia rebel skin if you clear the chapter 5 uh, Battle number one, okay, and that's that guys, okay? Uh, let's look into the shop and let's see what are the other features that we can purchase in this game provided that we have some cash Okay, so right away guys you can purchase the gems for some really good amount of cash This is just the early access version. I would definitely did not Recommend you guys to purchase any kind of packs in here because when you go into the real uh, servers Things can get really problematic. Things can get really messy. Okay, so only do spend your cash when this game is out in the main uh, official release or official launch or global launch version okay so there we go guys and you can see out there in the owner shop as well that there are so many things that you can actually get from here uh, I think owner shop really does refer to that uh, PBB content you'll be able to gain this kind of medals from the PBB contents and man you can even get like one free hero for this wow that's so good Donovan it says man and it looks really good just like Samurai X he has that X got mark <laughs> All right, man. All right, man. Anyways, that is pretty much it for today, guys. If you have any kind of insights or feedbacks regarding this uh, game, please let me know in the comment section below. I would really love to read that and have fun with that one. Anyways, my wife is right over here. She looks really cool with that uniform and dress, and she really does talk when I touch her. Yes, I can touch her anyway. Anyway, <laughs> see you guys in the next video.